our page comes with uh, a simple interactive navigation. So if we click here while the then this opens up with the menu, it, we can close it and then if it's if there is enough space then the menu is expanded. So let let's uh, implement this as a block as well. So first of all let's make it bigger. Turn off test clicks and let's go up, select it. And the whole thing is wrapped in this div. It contains both the, the visible menu for like a large size and then also the hidden menu that opens up uh, on mobile view. So this is hidden. And we will implement this as a block. Uh, that's, it gives us a lot of uh, opportunities for customization and also it, it's in line with what we were doing on, so far with the rest of the website sections. So let's just select it. Say block. So let's say what will it be? Maybe header. Or navigation is better. Navigation. Custom flex. And then it will have a bunch of editable things. So image, this should be editable. Block attributes. Logo. Logo. We'll, we'll leave the size up to, to the user and this is will probably be SVG anyway. And then we have and then we have the menu. So it's uh, implemented as a simple list with list items. And here we will use the menu action from global smart action. We'll say menu location is primary. And then this will use the, 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 the first element as the template for the menu. So this, the first item will be repeated for each um, element, element item. And then what else do we have here? Login. Okay, maybe we can just do a site link. Do we have an option? I think we have some somewhere else. Let's say, okay, href. So login, it should go to login URL. And then sign up, also say, and this one should go to, let's see, we have user registration. Sign up. Let's see. Site users links. Oh, register link. Okay. Per register. So yeah, this will go to the register link. This will go to login link. So, so with this, we took care of the kind of the visible part of the menu. So let's now, let's make it smaller and trigger the this menu and now we can select it so we have the image so this will be block attribute and we we already defined the block the the logo so because it's already defined before if you remember we did it here logo then 
the, the control will not be shown again, but the existing value will be used here. So we can, we can say, we can give the name, but it's not really necessary because the logo attribute is already defined in the same block. And the menu will do the same, so ul, and then we will say post menu primary, and then login. Let's go down to users. Let's say login. Actually not, let's do something else. So here it was, login URL and sign up. register link. Okay, let's save and export the page and see what will happen. Navigation is here, so let's put that on the top of the page. So the, the site admin is not working so well, like the, the registration link. So for now, what I will do, I'll, I'll just remove that link because it, it's not really in the, in the scope, I think, that this should work. Um, but we can add a block, at, block attribute saying attribute ID, registration URL that is used as link. And we can use the same on the other sign up. So let's remove this and say block edit. Registration URL. And also around flex, like here is a link, so this should go to the site. So let's say site link, it should go home. And the, the other logo also has the link, it should go home. Save. Okay. So now let's try it on the site. So here it is. We make it smaller. This also works. And the menu is controlled by the, it's like a standard WordPress menu. So if, if we go into customize, for example, and then menus, we have here the menu mm, that, that is displayed on the page. And of course we, we could, um, because this is just one thing, it's one pager, the website. So we could actually, let's see what do we have here in the, so we have product, feature, pricing, resources. So for example, we could add like pricing link and then we just say URL with hash pricing. And then let's say we could add we could add features. Let's do that. So features should go to 
features add to menu and then what else do we have features we can skip this testimonials pricing let's say blog posts posts blog posts add to menu okay let's publish it okay and now we have it here but this hash has don't go anywhere because uh, the, the element IDs are not defined on the page so what we could do we could just hard hard code like you know for pricing this could be pricing but we can we can use block attributes so let's go back here let's close this and then so this will be features let's disable test click so services and it doesn't matter we will add block attributes and we will say section ID and this will be used as attribute on the ID attribute and we'll say section ID and we'll do the same oh, we can actually copy this action here copy action to clipboard and then we can add it on just say command V on all blocks on their top elements here we can't just add it because we have block attributes already but we'll say block attributes section id uses attribute on the id section id okay yeah let's send it here as well so that all the blocks have this option now let's save export and go to the editor and I, I guess we'll get now probably I don't know we didn't get the the recover block recover uh, attempt block recover but we didn't get it so that's okay so section this will be features this won't have it this also not and then this will be pricing this will be posts okay now let's update refresh and now our menu navigation works blog posts just a, a word about the so if we go if we make the browser smaller so how this menu is implemented there is like a very simple javascript file that came with the source template that implements this of course we could use pinegrow interactions as well but i don't know mm, this tutorial is quite long as it is yeah so let's keep it for now it, it works okay we can just leave it like that and so let me show you the the javascript file that that comes that implements this and this is part of, of the original source project so it's just simple like removing the hidden class or adding the hidden class when when this is clicked 
just a simple toggle. OK, so that's it for the navigation and the only thing left to do is the footer.